YouTube family, what is going on today, guys? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Man, do I got a shredder for you guys today. We are going to be going over the brand new Cold War SMG, the PPSH. I usually don't use the term overpowered a lot, but man, I can't help but say this thing is definitely overpowered. It is a complete shredder, guys, and definitely a top tier SMG meta. PPSH definitely rips people apart from close range to medium range without any hesitation. And we're going to be going over a high level class setup and also a low level class setup for those of you guys that don't have it leveled up all the way. We're also going to be going over some gameplay that I got with the PPSH. So I hope you guys do watch this all the way through and enjoy it. Please do me the favor, guys. Smash the like button. Let's get 20 likes on this one. And also comment down below if you guys are enjoying the season three update. And if you guys are new, please do me the favor. Hit the subscribe button so you guys can keep coming back to these loadout videos. Videos. I also do informational videos so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification button so you guys know when I next post enough of me talking guys let's jump straight into this class setup all right guys let's go over the first attachment this is going to be for the high level class setup so for the first attachment we're on the group suppressor this is pretty much the monolithic for cold war SMGs so it's definitely a must second attachment is going to be the 15.7 task force is going to add more damage range to the PPSH increase bullet velocity and strafe speed which is awesome because of the movement the third I run the Spetnaz PKM stock. This is going to increase your mobility by a lot. It's going to get you moving and grooving through those squads. You're going to be able to take them out with an ease. The fourth attachment, I run the 55 round drum just because of the big nerf that the fast mags got with the really bad ADS delay. Fifth and final attachment, I run the drop shot wrap. A lot of you guys may be wondering why the drop shot. This is because of the added ADS times and then the flinch resistance. The flinch resistance is really nice for those close quarter battles and it's going to help you win a lot more gunfights. Now for the low level builds. For the first attachment, you're going to run the flash guard nine as you guys can see there's a whole bunch of pros that's why we run this to get it really early for the second attachment you have two options here you can run the reinforced heavy for the added effective damage range and increased bullet velocity this is going to allow you to kill your enemies a lot faster or if you're barely starting out run the 14.3 until you get the reinforced heavy because of the added bullet velocity for the third attachment i run the kgb target designator this is because of the added damage range this is going to allow you to kill your enemies a lot faster it's almost going to be like if you're running the gru suppressor fourth attachment you unlock the 55 round mag very early so i recommend put this baby on as soon as possible fifth and final attachment we run the drop shot wrap let's jump straight into the gameplay man please do me the favor guys watch this one all the way through i hope you guys do enjoy i'll catch you guys later guys peace out and stay blessed baby Not alone. Enemy UAV overhead. Enemy dropping into the AO. One dead here. Better get sniper rounds, D. Here. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Need high caliber round. Chelsea talking. Just a little. Target identified. Slot the bastard. Enemy dropping into the AI. I see. 
see one. Movement. Tactical tier. Enemies in the area. Soldier incoming. Does anyone need this? Just inbound. Enemy precision airstrike, take cover! Gotta get safe, move to the circle. Located. Gas is moving. Under fire. 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 Gas is moving. Under fire.